So three years ago when I decided I wanted to add running into my exercise routine, I did a lot of research and I came across a style of running called barefoot running. And without going into a huge amount of detail, it's basically running either without shoes at all or running with uh, a shoe like the Vibram 5 Three Fingers or what I prefer is these Merrell's uh, Trail Glove 2's. Now there's a lot of proposed benefits to running barefoot and if you're interested after this video I highly suggest you do some research on it and check it out yourself. So the thing I really like about these is they're super lightweight. These are size 13's and they only weigh 6 ounces. They got great ground fill with this super flexible sole, sole they have. I can wad these things up into a little ball. It's crazy. Another thing, they've got a nice wide toe box, which is really great so they've got your toes to really splay out, which will really help you with your agility and your balance. They've got a real uh, vibrant sole, which has great, really great traction, and they're a zero drop foot, which means they're the same thickness in the heel as they are up front. A lot of your running shoes or hiking boots have really thick 15 to 20 millimeter you know, cushioned soles. These don't. So that really encourages you to land on the ball of your foot so your whole leg will work as a shock absorber instead of landing on the heel of your foot straight legged where all that concussive force will go right straight up your body into your knees and into your back. Now the bad thing about these shoes is I like them so much and I like the way they feel as I was using them for everything. I was using them for climbing mountains. If you've seen some of my previous videos where I climbed South Sister and climbed Broken Top, I was wearing these shoes and I, I probably spent 90% of my elk season in these shoes going up and down, you know, deep drainages and everything. Like I said, I really like the way they feel and they work really good for bow hunting because you can feel the sticks under your ground which helps you in your stocking. But they're just not really well designed for that kind of stuff and they felt, started to fall apart pretty quickly doing that, that kind of you know that kind of hiking and stuff with them so as you can see I've got shoe goo all down the side here you're trying to keep it from falling apart and you know it's not working you can see where the shoes fall it is starting to come apart right there and same with on this side another thing is these shoes you know are meant to be a running shoe you know not a mountain climbing not a you know hunting shoe and they're very breathable and they've got a very low cut so a lot of dirt and scree gets in them and that, that's just a pain. So if my Merrell's falling apart I decided I wanted to try to get on the line and see if I could find another shoe or boot that had the basic specifications of a minimal shoe but would be more durable and better suited for the types of stuff I was putting it through. So what I found were these. These are called mini mills. They're from Tactical Research by a company called Belleville they're an actual minimalist boot made for the military. I purchased these from a company called US Patriot Tactical. They were $120 and they shipped them for free and they shipped them next day, which was, I got them super fast. Okay guys, let's go over a few features of this boot. It's made out of ballistic nylon and leather. It's got a five millimeter drop heel, which isn't as good as the Merrill in my mind. I prefer the zero drop. But quite honestly, on flat ground today, I really couldn't notice uh, any elevation there. It does have the ride toe box, uh, which I really like. So that's going to give you that advantage as far as agility and balance. And what I really like about this is being a boot, it has an 8 inch upper. And that's going to really help keep the, dirt out of your, keep the dirt out of the shoe. So I'm pretty excited about that. As far as the lacing system, you can see it has a speed lacing system so they're really quick really quick and easy to lace up and they do have a vibrant sole on them you know different pattern than what's on my Merrells now these are very flexible but they're definitely not the flexibility as the Merrells you know you saw me before I can I could completely wad the Merrells up into a ball these I can't there's definitely some stiff spots on these soles like namely right up here at the toe seems really stiff I can't get that to flex very well up there, nor can I get it flex very well at the heel. So uh, I'm hoping that will break in a little better as the boot gets used. Color choices, you get the sage, which is what I have here, or you can get desert tan or black. They, you know, according to the website, these boots are one pound. Now these are 13s, mine are one pound three ounces. The boot is unlined. There is no lining inside the boot, which helps with the weight. And also the, these boots, of course, are not waterproof. 
you know they do have some breathe holes here and I, I personally prefer a boot that's not waterproof anyways so that works out great for me now I do have a few concerns with these boots before I bought them I did a lot of reading and read a lot of the reviews that were online on different websites uh, Amazon and on tech, um, US Patriots website one of the main complaints is people are getting heel blisters in these and I can maybe understand where that's coming from because if you look this back leather piece there's actually another piece inside and they're, and they're sandwiched together and in between there there's obviously something that's fairly stiff and hard if you see how I'm pushing down into that it's really stiff and hard compared to like the side of the boot which is really soft and pliable and the toe is the same way there's something right there that you can physically feel that there's something in there that they put in a lot stiffer I don't know if it's another piece of leather or what I'm, time is going to have to tell I'm just use these boots and see if I have that same problem another thing that I'm a little bit concerned about and it concerns just about any boot that's made these days is the vibrant sole has obviously been put on with adhesive because you can see where the, I don't see anywhere where there's any type of stitching done so we'll have to see how that holds up now as far as um, getting a pair of these you're going to want to get yourself sized go to a department store what I did is I went to Fred Myers, I went in the shoe department, I used one of their Brannock devices and I measured my feet. If you don't know how to use a Brannock device, I highly suggest you go on to their website, on Brannock's website, look at the quick tutorial on there, then go to the shoe department and either have someone help you or, or do it yourself, but get your feet measured because what you want to do is you want to order a half to a full size larger than whatever the Brannock device says. And you can get these in a regular and a wide. My feet measured out to be 12 regular, so I bought these in 13 regular. So far, what I've worn them today, they feel like they're pretty right on. But it'll, when I get outside and can run around the, the canyon a little bit, that'll really tell me. My, my Merrells, I wear barefoot a lot. Sometimes I put socks on if it's cold outside, but most of the time I wear just no socks inside the shoes. These, with the unlined and the higher uppers and everything, and my concern about this heel, this heel point, I'm going to wear the socks I normally wear when I'm out hiking, when I'm using regular hiking boots, which is just a plain old nylon, really thin dress sock, like if you're wearing dress shoes. I get these at Walmart, and ever since, I, I picked this up on a tip a long time ago on a blog where a guy was saying it, and I've tried them out. These are great for hiking. They're, you know, they're super lightweight. They breathe well. And if your feet get wet, they dry really fast. I'm going to try to use these. I've never had, at this point, knock on wood, I have never had a blister in any, any boot using this type of sock. So we'll see how it works. But that's what I'm going to wear with these boots. So I'm super excited about these boots. But, you know, the only way we're going to really find out if they're going to work for me is use them. So let's slip these suckers on and go hit the canyon.
So now that I've got an opportunity to use these boots for a while, it's actually been a full month since I took those scenes earlier. I've actually gone on a long hike on these wearing a multi-day pack loaded full of gear. And I also went on a hike that was really muddy, lots of really loose, wet, slimy mud. And I have to say I'm pretty happy with these. And let me go through just a few items here that uh, the few key points on this boot that I like. First of all, the, the wide toe box is great. Now keep in mind, I probably run a little bit more narrow with my foot than I do a regular. And this is a regular size boot. But it had plenty of room for my toes to spread out like I want. The flexibility in the sole was fantastic. Still not as flexible as, as my Merrells, but still a lot of ground feeling for a boot option. I think it was really good. The thing I'm really digging is this high upper. That was the whole reason why I was looking for a boot in the first place. When I'm off trail, I would get a lot of dirt and scree in my shoes and I didn't really like that at all. With these boots, I get nothing nothing and they, they lace up really nice and tight to my leg and they still at the same time give me plenty of there's plenty of flexibility there so I still get plenty of ankle movement and I don't feel like I'm braced up but it keeps all the dirt and scree out of the boot which I'm I'm really liking one other thing I really liked about this boot was after I got them wet they didn't feel heavy they didn't feel waterlogged or anything like that they do have two breathe holes right here so the water can drain out pretty easily. And But another thing that was great was even in hiking in muddy terrain, it actually took a little while before my, boot, my feet actually felt wet. So if you were to just step in a mud puddle and out again, you probably wouldn't feel wet at all. Maybe a little trickle right here around the breathe holes, but that's about it. Now as far as a con goes with this boot, at the very beginning, I had some heel discomfort. And after, it took a little while and they eventually broke in and that went away. Now that seems pretty common with these boots because I've seen that, I seen that gripe a lot on some of the reviews that I looked at before I bought them. So if you're looking for a minimalist boot option, I think this is a good option. It, and it's also the cheapest option that I've seen on the market. It's $120, like I said before, which puts it a bit cheaper than some of the other uh, boots that I've seen on the market in the minimalist category. So anyhow, I hope you found this review helpful, and if you did, give it a like. And also, uh, look down at the bottom in the description and link over to my Facebook page and give me a like there as well. Until my next video, I'll see you guys later.